How you guys doing? My name is Richard Garcia, and I'm here to talk to you guys about some things that are real depth deep in my life that um, I think that can be is inspirational to the younger generation and younger youth across the globe and across the, um, the ghettos that basically plague the United States of America, especially the East Coast where I'm from, North New Jersey, Brick City, born and raised. I live in Jersey City for the past 16 years, so I'm repping Hudson County too, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, there's, there's a ghetto worldwide. There's a worldwide mob, you know? You guys know how that goes. And I know who I, I resemble. I know I resemble Tupac Shakur. Um, me and Tupac were born both the same month and day, June 16, 1975, I was born. He was in June 16, 1971. So I'm a lot more wiser man today than who I was in my previous lifestyle. Because the thing is, when I say previous life is, I came a long way and I actually evolved mm -hmm. trying to get all the kids in all the hoods to understand that who I am today, who I look like today, I've always looked like, but my mind frame, my, my ignorance is what suppressed me in my younger years. And um, when I say that, I mean education. Education is something very, very important that we all need to, to use. Now, I'm, I met a couple of people that actually told me they make a lot more money than going to school. Basically tell me, you know, they never took that route to go to school, but some people are blessed and some people can do that. Some people have that, that, you know, that type of charisma and attitude in life where they can just go out and get theirs and they're blessed. But most of us aren't it's blessed. blessed. See, I'm a father of seven children. You know, I dropped out when I was about 17 years old out of um, high school. I was going to Orange High School. I started hanging with the wrong crowd, you know, messing with the wrong females, getting into the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people, they look at me and they say, oh, that nigga, he went to school. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I went to school, yes. I have a Bachelor's of Science in Biology today. I thank God for that. But I, was a, I am a high school dropout. It took me about, I'll say a good seven or six years, or maybe eight years, to actually come to realize what, how, how important education is and how important it is to be responsible for what you do in your life, you know what I'm saying, as a female or male. You know, I, I get called upon and, um, to, to come and speak to young children and our youth. Um, yeah. My name came after all my children. You know, during my, my lifestyle, everybody seen me as Tupac, but no one actually knew that the mother of my children had, you know, had problems and issues with drugs, you understand? I, I can actually sit here and tell you that I've, ex I've experienced the heroin abuse and the co crack cocaine um, addiction, and I overcame all that. I didn't go to no rehab. I didn't go to no, to no, um, no, you know, AAA meetings, none of that stuff. And I'm not sit sitting here to tell people not to smoke weed. I'm not sitting here to tell people what to do and not do drugs because we all want to experiment. But what you guys got to realize is when you experiment with these drugs, you're taking away from your soul. You're taking away from your life. That when you're sniffing heroin in three days of you doing it, you get addicted. It's a three-day addiction. Yeah, first you think you have it, you know, you're going to you know, separate things, separate the days. But it doesn't always go, pan, you know, pan out like that. Things don't always pan out the way you think it's going to pan out. You know, one thing I, I, I like to talk about when I walk into a classroom, because I'm a substitute teacher for the Board of Education now for about five years. And one thing I love, I love to do is go and I talk to people about Tupac Shakur because I was fortunate enough and blessed to, to meet his mother and father to get the A-OK -okay to, to go ahead and audition for the film of his life. But regardless of the film, I can't change who I look like. I can't change the fact that me and Pac have the same birthday, the same attitude, the same charisma, the same ambitions. But like Pac taught us, we have to learn how to evolve. We have to learn how to rise up. And right now, you know, I want to basically come out and tell people that I may look like a good guy, but you know what? I have my faults. And we all have our faults, and we all have our tragedies before our triumphs. That's what makes us more human. 
You know, I see, I see a lot of young women out here that get pregnant at an early age. And, you know, it, it's sad to see them because they think that, the, that they have a, a love child and that this baby's going to make their life better when, it, you know, it's either going to make them or break them. You know what I'm saying? The youth of today have to learn how to understand to take what they have in stride. Basically, take what the Lord has blessed you with and make it into something. And I hear a lot of the youth complaining what they don't and what they do have. And you know what? You have to appreciate what you have because there's a lot of other people in this world who have it worse than you. Our children, our ghetto children, they are all, like, they all trapped. Like Pac said, we're trapped. Our ghetto children is basically, is, they're set up to, to fail. And if we don't work upon work with one another, we'll never, we'll never. Um, how can I say it? We're, ne we're never gonna prosper together. You know what I'm saying? We're never gonna grow. I see a lot of hate and envy amongst um, people in the industry. A lot of kids ask me, "Are you in the industry now?" I'm like, "Listen, I'm not in the industry, but I'm trying to make the industry evolve and take it where Pac wanted to take it." If somebody knew about Tupac, he'll tell you. He wanted to bring the Bloods and the Crips together and form a new nation. Think about that. Do you think our government will really want that? Do you think the U.S. government will want blacks and Hispanics to, to cease fighting? Now, I'm not trying to stop anybody from fighting. And I know how people, they have they, they beefs with one another. But... It's a bigger man to let things slide. It's a bigger man to just let things go. You know what I'm saying? You can't bring someone back who was murdered by killing another. That's, not, that's just not the way. I don't care if you're Muslim or Christian or Catholic, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Me, I, I, the religious, you're born into religion. You know what I'm saying? It, you, you don't pick that. You do what you do with that. But religions, they're, how can I put it? They're, they're, they run parallel. You know what I'm saying? And... People have to understand what's good and right and what's their morals, you know what I'm saying? People have to understand, understand what, what kind of morals they have in life as far as drug addiction goes, as far as getting money goes. I mean, you know, I, I, I want kids to understand that drugs and selling drugs and, and gangs and all that, that, that's actually no way out. There's no way out. You're just being like stuck in the square. And that's what I'm trying to tell people. Don't be stuck in the square. Open up. Open your mind. Evolve. That's what Pac wanted. That's what Tupac all, always wanted. He wanted people to evolve, listen to one another, learn from one another. And um, you know what I'm saying? It's, I'm, just, I'm just here to tell you that I'm living proof. Yo. I mean, I dropped out of school. I've, I've done hustle drugs. I've done dick, cocaine, crack. Smoke wolves in the hallways of my people. Smoke blunts. You know what I'm saying? I've done all that stuff. And you know what? Half my friends are either dead and half my friends are locked up. And I'm pretty sure everybody heard this same old saying, all my friends are not here today. They're either dead or locked up. So when you think about things like that, you have to, you have to think about it, analyze it, and like, you, have to, you have to sit back and rethink about what is important in your life.